Sige, Shaman. Hello out there. Um, yes, we are live. We, as in, there's Lisa. Hi. That's my girlfriend, Lisa. And I was just telling her that I just got a phone call of somebody telling me they'd like me to go by their house to speak to them uh, because they have something to talk to me about. And I was just telling Lisa that I don't like it when people call me and tell me they want to talk to me. I like it when people call me and tell me, listen, I have this issue and I'd like to talk to you about it. But just to randomly keep me guessing until I can get to you, that really <laughs> irks me. I'd rather you just tell me what's on your mind and what you want to talk to me. I'm a big girl and I think that I can take it. <laughs> So, um, so don't ever do that. <laughs> yeah, so don't ever call me and tell me that you need to talk to me. I need to know what the topic is on. And, you know, it's only fair because then I can get prepared and mentally. know. Yeah, mentally, you know, and then arrange my schedule to make sure that I know how much time I'm going to take to plan my visit with you. Because I don't know if it's, you know, am I going to take an hour drive and, and spend five minutes with you or is an hour? Really serious? Yeah, uh, I need, I just, I need to know these things. <laughs> <laughs> we're so, planners we yeah plan. i'm a planner i'm definitely a planner <laughs> you know plan. you can count on me for spontaneous fun but like like the, the serious stuff i gotta plan it man i gotta be emotionally ready to deal with these things so what does anybody what does anybody think about these things <laughs> hi old friend i see you old friend what do you what do you think i i am i am i crazy am i the only one that that likes this or no, no, you I'm too. Exactly yeah, same. Lisa says that she. No, don't surprise me with serious stuff because you gotta. I gotta go down now. Okay, now this is serious because <laughs> usually I'm in fun mode. <laughs> so yeah, that doesn't work with me. So, I didn't realize till you said it. I didn't. That it bothers me too. It, it really bothers me it because really bothers I, I have me. some people very close to me in my life that always call me and tell me that and every time I just feel myself getting agitated right afterwards oh yes I'm crazy well you know what Bert always says that crazy people succeed <laughs> <laughs> you've been to the seminars <laughs> crazy people succeed I believe that too <laughs> for sure but it is if you haven't been called crazy that's I why certified. said it <laughs> that's why I said it I'm not sure, but anyway, uh, LaSalle Perk just joined us. All right, cool. Hello. Um, I am right now in South Florida. I'd love to know where some of you are right now. If anybody wants to tell me what cities you're in, I would love to know who I'm speaking to because sometimes I, you know, I speak into my phone camera and I'm not quite sure if anybody's listening. <laughs> Oh, I'm just ranting. Oh, we got somebody in Northern California. Oh, hey. That is a very beautiful place. Yes, I've been is. up and down the coast. Oklahoma. We got Oklahoma in the house. I oh. lived in Oklahoma. I was just in Oklahoma in January. I lived there for three years. You lived in Oklahoma? <laughs> yes. Where? Tulsa. Tulsa? Yes. Really? I was from three to six, so I have very vague memories. I went to Oklahoma City <laughs> in the middle of the night to go to the memorial, and it was probably like five degrees. <laughs> I was so cold. I was like, how do people live? Uh, somebody from North Carolina. Oh, I own property there. That's Hi. one of my places where I want to go. Hey, I'm from there. From? From South Florida. Oh. I'm oh, your friend from California. Okay. Uh, in Tulsa. They were from Tulsa. Okay. Yeah, so they know where you're from. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. Um, so Lisa lived in Tulsa, and she's got family in Georgia. And they're all in Georgia. And I am the first actually American born from my family on both sides, mom and dad. My parents are from Colombia. So um, after that, there have been many of us born here in the States. <laughs> the clan. The clan. <laughs> but yeah, I'm the original um, American born on my family. And I was born in New York and moved to Miami when I was three years old. I was six. We I lived. I was born in Texas, and then we lived in Oklahoma for uh, three years. And then when I was six, I moved here in Miami. So I don't remember much else. Yeah, I don't. I don't remember much of big, anything. Big memories yeah, anywhere. been in South Florida my entire life. Traveled a lot around the world, so I've got to see a lot of cities, and that's definitely one of my passions. One but of my uh, favorite places is actually Northern California. That's. We do San Francisco from San Francisco you, down to LA. There. I left my uh, heart there. <laughs> that was the best. Uh, that little Big town. Sur? The, no, the Sausalito. No, oh, Sausalito. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, 
I could have lived there. Sausalito was the best. Yes, we did yes. Napa Valley, and then we spent the yeah. night in uh, Sausalito. That was yeah. awesome. And we went to, um, what's that, Merced, that where the, the big trees are. I forgot what it was called. We, uh, um, uh, when we drove down, it was through Big Oh, Storm. it's Uncle Dave. Hi, Hi, Uncle Dave. I didn't know it was you. <laughs> I haven't seen you in a while. I must come visit on our personal channel. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. So we're going to check out now. Now that I've uh, officially ranted, ranted <laughs> about what upset me today. She so got it out of her system. I got it out of my system. Thank you guys for helping me get this out of my system. However, I still got to go visit somebody that called me and told me they need to speak to me. <laughs> all right. Talk to you soon. Bye.